really at a very exciting point, obviously, in the cell and gene therapies because they're actually coming in. You know, the patient community, and I've been involved with the patient community for many, many years and certainly in the rare disease space. And we have been anticipating this. I mean, to the point where I think people were beginning to think it was all going to be a myth. It's never going to happen. And then, of course, we now have gotten some of these. The challenge, as I think we have looked at, certainly from the patient point of view, is the impatience for it to come in. Um, some of these gene therapies have been in development for 10 years, more than that, right? I think also patients still don't understand kind of why it is, in fact, so difficult taking so long. I mean, obviously, the awareness of it is just awareness. So one of the things we feel is really important is we need to educate the patients. What are the different types of gene therapies? There's some that's gene replacement therapy. What about gene editing? What about these, you know, therapies using other kinds of uh, mechanisms like these lentivirals? You know, we don't actually get the difference in them and why some are so really challenging. Some of it's like, you know, putting in a vaccine. Some of it, you're taking out people's cells. You're kind of putting them on, into a really compromised you know, immune system. You're re, you know, engineering their cells. You're giving it back to them. I, you know, I think it's really important that patients understand what are the different types of gene therapy, why it does take so long from a safety point of view to actually get them perfected. And then also, though, to be involved all the way through the process. That's, I think, the most important thing is that it's been taking place. But really, for the most part, patients have just been kind of subjects in the process. We've never been partners in the process. And I think it's time to make patients partners in the process.